What's up, church family? Hope you all had a good weekend. Hope your Monday started off right for this week. And um, I had a few things I want to go over with y'all and uh, try to help y'all this week. And uh, I hope this blesses y'all. Let's pray in and we'll get going. Father God, thank you for this channel. Thank you for the viewers on this channel. Thank you for you and Jesus and Holy Spirit. Thank you for your grace and your mercy and your provisions, Father God. Thank you for your joy and your peace and your love and your strength and your courage and your wisdom, Father God. Thank you for the church. And please let what I'm about to say be what you want, to, you want me to say, not what I want to say. And I have it behind the cross while I do it, Father God. I love you and we love you. And I pray these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Uh, I had about five scriptures I want to go over with y'all and um, <clears throat> to really pop this off and, and kind of get, you know, get what I'm about to say, help it make sense because Father God's word is way more important than what I got to say about it. So if you need to uh, go back and, and look this up and, and read these scriptures and, and and really see what he's saying on this and uh, I'll tell you what it's helped with me and, and just kind of you know try to help steer and direct you on, on you know trying to do the same thing uh, first we're going to be in Ephesians chapter 4 uh, verses 31 and 32 it says forgive as the Lord forgave you and be kind and compassionate to one another forgiving each other just as God in Christ forgave you. Mark eleven twenty five says, And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them, so that your Father in heaven may forgive your sins. Matthew six twelve, Forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. Matthew six fifteen. But if you do not forgive others, then your Father will not forgive your transgressions. Colossians 3.13 Bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you. So you also must forgive. Notice these five scriptures all have the word forgive in it and that's just one of many scriptures that talks about forgiveness and it's just uh man when we, when we hold that down when we hold on to on the offense you know offenses and, and when we you know say we look back at our past and people that's wronged us or you know situations that didn't go right with us or or even at God, you know, being offended at God or, or, or you know, we don't forgive him and, and forgive ourselves and forgive all the people that's crossed us in our past. It just, man, it just, you just see this prison and, and people are, a lot of people are just sitting in that prison and, and with no way out, you know, not knowing how to get out of that. And there is power in the name of Jesus Christ and you can walk out of that prison and forgiveness is, is more for you than it is for everybody you're you know you need to forgive you know what i mean it's more for it's more for you so you can get on with your life so you can get on with freedom and peace and joy and, and you know enjoy a slice of heaven right right now as we speak instead of just when we turn 80 or 90 or 100 and, and leave this earth you know, you can enjoy that freedom right now. You don't have to wait till you get to heaven to enjoy peace and, and, and joy and, and, you know, and love and, and, you know, that freedom that only Christ gives us, you know what I mean? But I just, I just see a lot of, see, a, you know, friends and family and, and I have a lot of people around me still that, that are just, holding on to, you know, holding on to stuff and not letting go and letting God, you know what I mean? And just, you know, thinking, thinking that they're, you know, it's, it's not really going to do, you know, it's not going to, it's not going to help you out. You know what I mean? As far as, um, 
you know, sometimes we're mad at people and they don't even know we're mad at them, you know what I mean? We might hold on to something for 10, 15 years and not even know, they, and they might not even know that she was ever mad at them. Well, you know, the enemy, Satan has this way of like getting us to build charges on people. You know, like, you know, go to court, put charges on people, press press charges, you know what I mean? Uh, like Satan has a, has, a, has a way of like, you know, getting in our mind and our heart and, and putting these like charges on people and, and thinking that if, if I don't get told, you know, if I don't get done right, then this, this still, you know, this still bothers me and I'm not okay with it. Well, it's, it's just, man, it's a big old trick and a scheme, man. It's a scheme, man. Devil's a liar. He's a liar. And and it's it's just a it's just a way to keep you in your flesh. Instead of staying in spirit. It's just a way to keep you in your flesh. If you stay in your flesh, then it's devil's got you right where he wants you, man. You're gonna do all the things that he wants you to do instead of all the things God wants you to do, you know what I mean? And God and Jesus, they want you to have freedom, man. Jesus went to that cross and he finished the works on the cross so we could have peace and freedom. So we have the keys to walk out of that prison. Anytime we want, we don't have to sit in there. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. I say that to say this because I, I just this last weekend I went and met my um, I, went, I went and met my my Earth Dad, my you know the one that got with my mom 42 years ago, and, and they had me. And I never got to meet him. I it was 42 years, you know. I went and met him this last weekend, and. You know, God gave me enough courage and strength, and you know, I met I met God and, and Jesus. You know, I, I got saved back in 2020, September of 2020, 25th September 25th of 2020, and I was really okay with. I mean, like, if that if this last weekend didn't happen, I was gonna be okay. I still had Jesus. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing gonna beat that high. That's the ultimate high when you get to meet Jesus. And you get to have Father God as your dad, as your father, you know what I mean? And, and Holy Spirit dwelling inside of you, nothing beats that. But, but having said that, it was a blessing to be able to go and meet that guy. Because without him and my mom, I wouldn't be here to, to, to be able to share the gospel, you know what I mean? Be able to share the, the good news about Jesus. So, I just uh, woke, my, woke my wife up that morning and, and just... Well, it wasn't. I didn't wake her up. I mean, we we both woke up that morning and just it was kind of it was put it was it was being put on my heart heavy like that's why I know it was from Father and just just something I needed to go do. You know what I mean? Because before Christ, before September twenty fifth, twenty twenty, man, I would I bled that all over people, all over innocent people that didn't that didn't deserve it. I was such a, I was such such a mean person to people that didn't deserve to be mean to. You know what I mean? They didn't deserve none of that. And I was just living life from from a bitter from a bitter standpoint, you know what I mean? From my anger in my heart and bitter and just <clears throat> fear and just you know what I mean? That with with a, with several other things that, that that went on in my life that I finally got to let go of when I met Jesus and, and Father and, and Holy Spirit helped me let go of that stuff and but it was just seen it just seemed like something I didn't want that on on my dad no more on my earth dad and just I didn't I just was tired of I was finally strong enough man sometimes things you might not be able to do it today or tomorrow but in a year or two later you stick with Jesus he'll give you the strength to move mountains man and I went and moved that mountain this month last weekend and I just felt like a, a giant like I slung my slingshot and, and hit a giant and he fell to his back, you know what I mean? And it just feels like um, that can't be used against me no more, you know what I mean? The enemy can't throw a, a flaming dart to my way of, of anything to do with that no more. And, and, and when he did, after I got saved, anytime he did, I'd just rebuke him and tell him to leave me alone and just, you know, Father God's my dad, I'm cool, you know what I mean? And and, and which I was and I am and I always will be with them guys with Father and Jesus and, and but it just also felt like you know that scripture says uh, honor your mother and your father and I just felt like I was honoring him you know forgiving him and, and um, like a way of forgiving uh, him with me me with him and just just you know I feel like I was honoring him and, and going by there and seeing him and just you know meeting him and shaking his hand and 
we gave each other our phone numbers and stuff and it was it was a really cool visit it really was it was it was much needed and uh felt a little lighter you know what i mean uh, on my feet when i left there and and i got home though and i was telling my wife i was like that was amazing and all but nothing beats meeting jesus nothing beats that praise you god thank you for letting me meet your son jesus and letting him dwell in my heart and you know sending him to the cross for me and for us and just thank you thank you thank you so we could be united with you reunited with you father thank you thank you thank you thank you hallelujah but i, I challenge you to hunt down the trauma because that was hard that was some trauma in my life some in my past and just this trauma it was stuff that messed with me and just you know, I, I got to a point where I was okay. And once I got saved and, and started confessing and repenting anger and any kind of ill will feelings towards him and just, you know, in Jesus' name, I'd lift it to God and just it would it would come off my heart. You know, enemy couldn't use that against me. But it was also just a deal that I wanted to go do and it, like a mom worker or like a, you know what I mean? And just, it just kind of, you know, get that done. And uh, not done. I mean, I feel like we got some closure, but I also feel like there's a blank page there between me and him. And, and if we want to write on that blank page, we can. If not, that's totally fine, too. I just, you know, just felt obligated to, I didn't want him leaving here with any of that on him. or Because he knew I was out. He knew I was around. He knew I was out here. I talked to him when I was about 15 years old on the phone one time in my life. And we were supposed to schedule a meetup, and, and I just kind of I backed off and, and got mad about it and just kind of, you know, threw a little fit and a little bit of immature about it and just went, went on my path, you know what I mean? But God got me, and Jesus got me, you know, grounded in my faith and, and just really, like, you know, thinking about things and, and giving me strength and wisdom and courage and boldness to be able to step up to things that I wouldn't have been able to do without them, so... I just, I want, I hope, I want to give you hope on that, you know what I mean? If there's any, anything in your past that you might need to go face or just, you know, <clears throat> know that in Romans 8, 28, it says, for he uses all things for the good who love him and walk according to his ways and they're called according to his purpose. So even if it's good, if whatever happens that day or whatever you're facing, good or bad, it's all going to be spun for your good. Father, God's doing that for us. So that's what really kind of got me to go over there too and, and just, it was a win-win either way. So know that when you're facing your challenges, you know what I mean? And, and I challenge you to hunt down the trauma in your past, man, and uh, track down all the offenses you, you ever picked up along the way and um, go straight to God with it all. And, and tell him you repent for any fear and, and anger over any of it. And um, go through each situation and each person and... Uh, just be real with him. Be real with him. He's, he's right there. He's, he's, he's listening. He's, he's, he's willing to help. He wants to help. He wants you, he wants you free. He wants you to feel the power of what his son's done for us. He wants you to feel that. He wants you to have that freedom. Not just say the prayer, oh, I get to go to heaven. Nah, you can you can enjoy what Jesus has done on that cross right now in this very moment. So you just got to step up to it and, and do it, man. So and truly let it go. Just let it go. And, and even if, if if God Himself is who you might think wronged you, I mean it's it's time to stop letting Satan control us through our flesh and emotions, man, and, and let it go. It's time to release yourself from this spiritual prison that I see a lot of, a lot of people in. And, and, and it's time to release yourself from that prison that, Satan, that Satan's had you locked in for, for quite some time now. He had me locked in there for 38 years, man. 38 years until I figured out what Jesus had done for us. And I, and I can I can walk out of any situation. I don't have to feel some type of way about nobody ever again. I can forgive him, man. Jesus has given me that power. I can just forgive him. And keep living, keep living in joy and peace, and, and keep 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 having my freedom. You know what I mean? And, and on the other side of the coin, uh, you know, let let's you know let's apologize to God for any offenses we, we may have caused ourselves or towards others. You know what I mean? 
um, one by one, go through your past and start repenting to God. All the wrongs or discord you may have, you know, created for yourself and for others. And, and it's time for freedom, man. You say, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, say your name. Uh, confesses and repents for any anger towards so-and-so. Say their name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You'll feel this release and lift your hand and just say a hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Give him thanks and, and, you know, go through another person. Or if you want to confess and repent for, you know, um, anger, you know, anger on, on God. Just, you know, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, your name. Confess his repents for any anger towards you, Father God, for thinking that you ever wanted bad for me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And just be real with him, man. You mad at God and, and you think he's mad at you? Eh, he loves you. He's for us, man. So, let's be real with him. Those are some prayers that just really helped push me through. And, and, and I got another one. Uh, the flesh, blood, fire, and spirit of Jesus Christ destroys the works of Satan's kingdom inside my emotions. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Because that's what's going on here. The enemy in this world out here is trying to get us in our emotions, trying to get us to act from our flesh instead of acting from spirit. You know what I mean? Trying to get our heart, trying to get our mind to think about something so bad that it, it leaks to our heart and get our heart offended. And then we stay stuck in there. You know, then he's got a, you know, be, you know a, a foothold become a stronghold now. And, and you got to, cut that stronghold you know what i mean go on and go on and get you gotta go in jesus name and, and like i said man god wants you free he wants he wants us free and, and, and satan satan wants us in bondage he really does god sent his only son jesus his only begotten son jesus to die on a cross for your and my freedom to be united with him through Jesus' finished works of the cross. For you to be able to <clears throat> come to God with anything is because of what Jesus has done on that cross. He built a bridge for us to be able to walk to God and, and talk to him now and do these things. So, and for, for, for you and for me, um, for you guys, for y'all to be a son or a daughter, whichever one you might be, male or female, um, to be his child. Um, wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We get to be the creator of the universe's child because of what Jesus has done on that cross. Ain't nothing, ain't God's for us. You ask for a piece of fish, he's going to give you a piece of fish. He ain't going to give you a snake or a stone to eat or a piece of rock. You know what I mean? He's got you, man. And I challenge you to pray for things that are that'll be in his will. Not, Father, will you make me a millionaire? Nah, man. Pray, pray. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with money. I'm not saying what I'm saying. But pray. Th try to pray for things that you, you would know that he would want for you. You know that would help him and help his kingdom and help you know spread the gospel and, and pray for things in, in that angle you know what i mean and you know pray for safety of your family and your friends and you know pray for other people that need christ and and you know i do a lot of praying and, and thanksgiving i thank him for a lot of things you know even before i got there before i get there and just thank you father for moving mountains for me man and, and just you know, instead of, you know, me, myself, and I, I, I pray a lot for other people. I pray a lot for, you know what I mean? I thank him. I thank him more than I ask for things, you know what I mean? So, just get behind that. Try to try to find out his, you know, um, his will for your life. God's got a will for all of us, you know? So, pray from that angle. And, uh, it's, uh, it's time, folks. It really is. Um, it's time to let go and let God heal you and love on you. And um, 
it's time to, to let him be your father and uh, I promise you will not you will not regret it and I promise you you won't regret it he loves you and he's for you he sent his only son his only begotten son to die on the cross for you so cross that bridge man cross that bridge that Jesus in your heart cross that bridge he went to that cross for payment of your sins, man. That Jesus, that Jesus in your heart, cross the bridge so you can talk to Father God. And we can move mountains together. You know what I'm saying? We can have freedom. We can have peace and joy and love. And patience. Patience and kindness and gentleness and goodness and faithfulness and self-control. We can have all those things, man as a father because of Jesus with Holy Spirit dwelling inside of us so man I hope that blessed y'all and uh, keep pushing out there man you know where I'm at you know you know my channel I mean clearly you're watching it uh, you got any questions any kind of prayer requests um, praise reports anything you know um, Ask me in the comments. Uh, you want to fellowship a little bit? Be more than happy to ask her or uh, you know answer any questions or, or, or you know any feedback. You know what I mean? And ladies, if you have any questions, my my wife's channel is Amanda Wilcox, and she'd be more than happy to help any one of y'all. And um, put her channel in the descriptions, and um, I'll link her channel, and that way you can just tap on it and, and cruise over to her channel and check her out too you know what I mean and we're all about our daddy's business and uh, all about pushing Father God's kingdom and and long live King Jesus I love y'all man y'all stay pushing out there God bless each and every one of y'all peace